Hello there, I am Halcyon Panza, and today we will be taking a look into the largely forgotten history of Sand Trap. During what was probably the Battle of Installation 00, the UNSC Aegis Fate was dispatched to a remote sector of the Ark. It was dispatched to this sector because apparently there were brute forces occupying it at the time. When the UNSC Aegis Fate finally arrived to this sector, they found a squad of brutes who had entrenched themselves in an ancient structure. This site was Sand Trap. The UNSC Aegis Fate quickly engaged the small brute force. With the skirmish that followed, the result would see the Brutes being driven out of the site. During this short engagement, the Brutes would lose a single phantom before falling back into the desert. They left in a hurry once realizing how outmatched they were and would end up leaving most of the military hardware behind. This includes two choppers, a banshee, along with several firearms and barricades. While the defending Brute force was small, they were able to plant landmines in the sand dunes surrounding the site. The UNSC has yet to dispose of these landmines, and the site is still considered hazardous. During the battle, the UNSC lost a single albatross. However, it should be noted that this albatross probably crash landed due to a malfunction as no exterior damage can be found on it. Once the site was formally in UNSC hands, they began exploring the site. They deployed several teams on the site full of supplies. The supplies can still be found littered throughout the site. This includes two elephant recovery vehicles, several warthogs, mongooses, and plenty of supply crates and computers. Sadly, most of the data collected on the site by the UNSC is unavailable. However, if you look at one of the display screens on either of the elephants, it will tell you Sandtrap's atmosphere, which is 82.7% carbon dioxide, 7.5% nitrogen, 4.7% hydrogen, and 2.5% argon, meaning Sandtrap is a fairly toxic place for humans. This screen also tells us that the surface chemical makeup is carbon, silicon, sodium, zirconium, calcium, and other chemicals that cannot be made out. Currently, the materials used in the structures of Sandtrap is unknown. However, some type of sandstone wouldn't be a bad guess. From aerial observation, the structures of sand trap is symmetrical, with two different bases at each end. Nevertheless, much of the site is worn away by sand and time. A fair amount of the site is still covered by sand. Parts of the site have been excavated, but it is unknown by who. It would be fair that the Brutes were the one excavating the site, yet there was no mining equipment found in the area when the UNSC captured the site. Lastly, a series of metal panels throughout the structure can be found. These panels have unknown writing on them. It has yet to be decoded and is still a mystery to this day. Well, this covers pretty much all the known lore on Sandtrap. There are a lot more theories I found on the internet um, that could extend this lore, such as like its actual location, since that's never officially uh, stated, though most people do assume it's on the Ark. Um, I'll probably be doing a video like that in the future soon, just covering all the cool theories out there and uh, how, you know, Sand Trap can be a lot more interesting than what it currently is. Um, so if you'd like to see that in the future, stay tuned. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see it or if you like this content. I already fucked up this outro a little bit, but I said I would do this one take. No fucking scripting, no bullshit, right? Um, so yeah, leave a like too. That would greatly be appreciated as this is a brand new channel I'm working on. And any feedback you have would also be fantastic too. Um, thanks for listening.